This video is sponsored by FaceCheck, the only app you need for League of Legends. It's no secret, I've been using this app for a while now. It's simple, convenient, and it all starts at the Pick and Bands tab. I'm up to L now, so I'm playing LeBlanc. FaceCheck will detect that and show me all her counters and why. Easiest band of my life, to be honest. Next, we got the team stats. It's got everything you need to scout your team right there. It detects your teammates' hovers and shows their win rate. Has enemy counters if you're flexible, and even has team damage distribution for you to draft around. Pretty simple, pretty convenient. Lastly, we got runes and items, my favorite tab. You just press push or right there, and the best runes and items import it straight into your game. That's right, you don't have to panic anymore. This just does it all for you, so check it out, guys. Link in the description. Thank you, FaceJet. So this is Brian the Avatar. And I've been playing every champ once from A to Z and I don't really know why. We've been stuck in gold once since the letter G and I'm starting to realize I kind of suck at the game. Well, maybe that's the whole point now. This is my journey to get to Z. Brian the Avatar. LeBlanc. In the top lane because I couldn't get mid, that's alright. You know, they say a good LeBlanc player can farm with their auto attacks. I don't believe it. I don't believe that at all. So it's been about 13 minutes now and top lane is still 0-0-0. We've literally both done nothing and had zero impact in this game. But that was when Jax teleported down and got a shutdown. He left me behind up here getting minions uncontested. I was upset. Very upset. So I chained him up. Not with one, but two chains. I even threw in my Q there to proc it and then I held my W. I held it until I could kill him like that. Pretty ruthless, I know. Wait, why are you getting up? Get the fuck back down, you're dead! And with that, I have now contributed one kill to my team's 15 in 15 whole minutes. At this point, top lane was just unlawful territory. I get the feeling something might actually happen up here. That was when I pretended backing, but actually, I'm going in this bush. Giving me my second kill of the game. Almost 20 minutes in. I did it. I got the turret. That means I won the lane. I win. That's when I tried roaming mid to help the team, but I just died in one hit. That was when Jax teleported in to try help his team, and he just died in one hit. Me and Jax were better off AFKing, to be honest. It's like we both never existed in this game. But we still managed to get the win. I didn't really do anything, but I'll still say top diff. 67 LP, almost there. Lend me your powers, Lee Sin. So I was just doing my gromp trying to get level 3, and that's when Warwick came out of nowhere from my wolves. Where did he even come from? This guy spawned on the wrong side of the map, but that's okay, because I can kill him if I just land my Q. You know, not often do you get second chances in life. I just need to land this Q. He's laughing at me. Yeah, you still want to laugh, Warwick? Why can't I land a Q on this guy? No! Okay, Warwick is clearly hacking this guy. This guy will be easier target. Fuck you! Fuck you! Give me the kill. At least we're still above 50 LP. Lysandra. So I was supposed to play Leona next by the alphabet, but I got auto filled mid. And I don't think that would be a good idea. So I decided to play Lysandra instead, the closest L mid laner. Recon was going for the gank, but I was kind of worried because I had a big wave, and also Kiana was on the bot side, so I pinged him off. Let's just not go in just yet. And that was when he went in. The fight didn't look too bad though, I just hoped I had enough mana. I have no mana, and Victor flashes away, but Wukong flashes after him only to get rooted, only to still get the kill. That thankfully worked. Meanwhile, why is my bot lane here? I still have no mana. Auto attack! And that's how I got enough mana to push this wave out. Free blue buff. But shortly after, there's another party in the mid lane. Where the fuck is everyone coming from? What the hell is a performance overlay? So don't mind the thing in the corner. I didn't have time to turn it off as I teleported in to try get this Kiana. I still didn't have time to turn it off as I was killing this Nami. And now killing Kiana. Again. Okay, now how do I turn this off? Alt R. That was what I mean with Kong. We're just sitting in this bush. Maybe a victim will come over and ward it. To which he does. So we jump him and then he puts down his W and walks away. Wow, I wish I had my ult so I didn't have to flash here. I also wish I had my ult so I don't have to die here. I hate you so much. Kiana then pins me against the wall and tries one shotting me. Little did she know, I'm pretty good at turning on the performance overlay. And with the second hourglass, I bought myself enough time to just walk away. And then I threw my Q and I walked away. And then I put my W down and I 
walked away. And then Victor throws his laser at me, but I walked away. And my ice cool vein got him. I did it. I won us the game. And we are now one Drake away from Seoul. This is it, boys. We ride or we die. Chee hoo. That was when I was on the way to Dragon with a huge flank. We lost. Can we still win? Oh no, 42 LP. Leona. You want you want presence in the lane, dude. Just fucking like Look at my presence. And we're being ganked. Now we're both dead. I think I may have had a little too much presence there. Actually, I'm just lagging. 34 ping. What? This is why you don't let Fortnite update in the background. And there we go. 17 ping again. That's that's relieving. You get fucking presence. So your AD can see us for free. Like, what the fuck are you doing, Tarek? You gonna stun me? You give fucking presents. Get the fuck out of here, Soraka. Fuck. Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. I'll take you both on. Back the fuck up. Support is so easy. Unless there's a Kindred in the lane killing my Tristana. Yeah, report Kindred, honestly. 29 LP, we're getting lower and lower. He's gonna put a lot of pressure on Lulu. This champ better fucking win me. That was when Tristana was acting very strangely and didn't want to leave her turret. Uh oh. Oh, never mind, we're good. Nope. Oh. Are you good? Nope. Nope. This is the first time I've seen someone live up to their name. There is no way we go to single digit. Lilia. So this game had to be the worst game I've ever played in my entire life. Start off with me thinking it was a good idea to gank an overextended Aatrox. Just a horrible, horrible idea considering we're Lilia Nasus versus a fucking Aatrox. He kills us both instead. And now it's fucked. Meanwhile, Bot dies as well and Jinx is complaining about a support Lee Sin, which I didn't even know we had. And now the golden rule of jungling is if you fuck up a lane, you don't go back to it. You abandon them and you go to somewhere else that might work. But then I pan to Nasus and I see him struggling to get back to his own turret. I've never been so stressed as a jungler in my life. He's trying to ghost back to lane now. What have I done? What have I done? I can't abandon him. It's fucked, but I have to try. So I got in there. And then I got three hit by Aatrox. I am not even trolling. You can tell by the way I'm typing. I'm actually very furious. My head, mind, soul was boiling at that point as I watched Aatrox become a raid boss right in front of my eyes. But then I put him to sleep. And then he flashes over, kills Nasus, and then kills me. This was the worst game of my life. Right there and then, I wanted to quit this series. I was just getting so much L after L after L. I didn't know if my boomer hands got what it takes to get a Z anymore. But that was when Nasus walked up to me and started dancing. Something about that interaction was so wholesome to me. The game state was just horrid, the atmosphere was grim, the chat was filled with me trying to explain myself to support Lee Sin. Meanwhile, the guy who got fucked over the most, the guy who had to ghost to lane, had to type a single word, now just dancing to himself. Like a little ray of sunshine in the dark. It just really opened up my eyes, and I realized... I did nothing wrong that game. My laners were just all bad plays, and now I'm 3 LP. Lucian. So there we were, all racing to the bush, Yasuo Ping to protect. But that was when Rengar question mark Ping instead wrote kill. What the hell do we do now? Do we wait there or kill such clashing emotions? Don't invade. Uh-huh. And so Rengar leads the charge and we get a free kill. What the hell just happened? And then Jarvan came to gank us at bot lane. I was like, no, you got all wrong. We were the ones that didn't want to invade. It was Rengar's idea. But we were forced to defend ourselves, and we killed Jarvan yet again. So everybody was chasing Yasuo, I was like, no, Yasuo was the guy who said to protect the bush and stay there. You got the wrong guy, it's the Rengar, who's in your base right now, killing your Nexus. How is this, how is this happening? I'm just as confused as you guys. But with that, 20 LP, no more single digit, Lux. Okay, this game, I'm actually going to win by my own input. You can tell how serious I am by the way I separated the GOHF.
can see I won by just killing them. And we end this episode 36 LP, unfortunately lower than we started. Not the biggest L I've ever taken, 